All right, I'm going to show you how to make a motion control time lapse stop motion video using After Effects. The first step is to take your pictures using our GoPro, taking a picture every second um, on the kitchen timer for approximately 10 minutes. So you'll have uh, about 300 pictures, and we're going to import those into After Effects. So you'll file, import, file, navigate to your pictures. They should all be in one folder. Uh, and if, I, if you've shared them with me, they'll be in Roscoff Shared. Go to Unedited Time Lapse, and um, we'll pick on this, this folder right here. So I like the lowest number one. Make sure you have JPEG Sequence selected. Open it, and it'll import it into After Effects as an image sequence. So it'll treat all these individual files as one file. If you drag it to the timeline, it'll make a new composition. And you'll see here, um, it's going to render really slowly because these are really high megapixel images. Um, and one thing we want to do is make sure our composition setting is at 1920 by 1080. So you can see here, when you bring it in and, and create a new composition, it chooses the pixel dimensions of each photograph. But we want to make it 1920 by 1080. Click OK. And that'll crop your image because it's actually bigger than 1920 by 1080. So this will allow you to do some key framing as the video plays. So um, I'll start zoomed in at 100% and maybe start at this position over here. And if I keyframe the position in scale, then I can go to the end of the video. And it will have panned over, but maybe as it's playing, I'll want it to get a little smaller. And then change the end position, maybe to get these flags in there. So, let's see as I spot check it throughout. So not only we're going to have the motion from the egg timer, the slow pan, but this is also going to zoom out and change position. Um, and then the last thing to do is set it to full quality and export it. And let's see how long it'll take to render. Yeah, it's going to take a while to render, but you get the idea. When you're done, uh, your 300 pictures will play back in about, uh, oh, it looks like 18-ish seconds. Um, and you'll have the slow pan, but also the change the keyframe, the position, and the scale. And that's how you make a motion control time-lapse video.